Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a rainbow using a blend. I'm going to use the ellipse tool to start this off. So if I go for the ellipse tool, and I'm going to then just draw, I'm drawing from the center outwards. So here, so I'm holding the Alt key down and the Shift key to keep a regular shape. Once I've drawn that, what I want to do is I want to keep the stroke, I want to take the fill off. At the moment, my fill doesn't have focus. I'm going to tap X to swap that over. Hit the slash key to negate the fill and then just return back to the stroke by tapping the X key again. Now I'm going to tap A on my keyboard or select the direct selection tool from the toolbox at the top there. And I'm going to click and drag across those two points on the side there. Once I've done that, I want to split this path at those points. So I'm going to use this button at the top to cut those like so. So once they're cut, I can go for the selection tool and I can just click on the bottom half here and remove that. And I'm going to duplicate this path. So I'm going to use an effect to do that. So I'm going to go to the effects menu, come down to distort and transform, and then choose transform from there. And turn on preview just here. And I'm going to set my transformation's anchor point to the bottom just here. So I'll click this bottom point in the grid. And that goes white, that's done. Then I'm just going to work out the scaling from here. So I'm going to scale this probably by about 10% down. So I'm going to take that down to 90%. That's pretty good just there. And then I'll switch to vertical and drop that down by 90%. That's perfect. I think that's working okay. Now I'm going to tell it now to make me uh, six copies. I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. And then I'm going to click OK. So it's important you understand that this is only an effect. It's not really an actual object. The only actual object that is living there at the moment is this stroke. All of these are applied as an effect afterwards. And I'm going to expand that by going to the Object menu and then choosing Expand Appearance. And so that takes those out into individual objects. And by default, Illustrator groups those together. If I go to the Appearance panel just here, you see it tells me it's a group. It does also give me that information up in the top left hand corner here in the control strip. So I'm going to get that to ungroup either by using the shortcut Shift Command G or going to the object menu and choosing ungroup from there. Now these are all individual paths. So what I'm going to do is click on each one and I'm going to apply a color. So I have red for this one and then I'm going to click for the next path in there. In this one I'll choose an orange stroke color. I'll click for the next path just to select that. I'll go for a yellow stroke color. Go to the next one after that. I'll go for a green stroke color. After that one, and so on until I've done the colors of the rainbow. So here I'll choose like a blue. After that, to here, and then around. To magenta and there we go like so once I've got those I don't need to do anything else to them other than select them all go to the object menu and choose blend make and illustrator blends those strokes together and gives me a lovely rainbow